people are choosing to make Greenville County their home. But building a new home is taking longer than it used to. An upstate developer says the shortage of transformers is causing construction delays. Our Carlos Flores joins us live with the story tonight. Carlos. Nigel, more than 70,000 people have moved to Greenville County in the last 10 years. But one upstate developer says without power transformers, people moving here will be in for a shock. Home after home is being built in Greenville County. Anthony Kent with Cawthron Homes is hoping to help with demand with this 107 townhome development. But it's at a standstill because of a lack of transformers. We placed our power order last February when we were finishing up the roads and we finally uh, through many, many delays, finally we're able to get one late, early this year. Ken says this is not just a problem in Greenville County, but across the whole country. It's nationwide. There's only three suppliers in the U.S. and 80% of transformers come from overseas. And with a shortage of materials like metallic sand and copper, it's put a huge strain on the system in the United States. When you find out you can't get a transformer, all things come to a stop at that moment because we can't go any forward with closing homes or selling homes because we can't tell people when a home will be ready to move in. And while Kent waits, more developers are looking to build homes. Greenville County records show in the last two years, more than 1,500 home permits were requested. And already in 2023, the county surpassed permit requests made in January and February of 2022. With all these people moving in, we have to supply them with homes and developments so that they have places to live. And without these transformers that are in great shortage and demand, we can't finish homes fast enough. So it will be a surprise this year when people come out wanting to buy a home and find that there's very limited ones to choose from. Kent is hoping by speaking out, it will be a shock to the system before the country falls too far behind. Now, the shortage is so bad, the National Builders Association sent a letter to President Biden addressing the issue. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.